Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. on the far side of a pivot and uh, it was eating up their pivot. He really would have liked to shoot them back. But anyway, there's a, there'll be a good spot I think to set up and go clear across that pivot to the, to the north. So uh, yeah, should be a good shot spot to shoot and uh, we'll give it a whirl. So a change of scenery. Yeah. What kind of distances are you thinking? Well, the pivot's 880. So the rim above it, I haven't ranged it, but uh, we'll, we'll have some good four digit shooting, I think, by the time we get down there. So. These guys, <laughs> I've already been practicing yesterday. <clears throat> uh oh. On the uh -oh. way out. Uh oh. Yeah, well, and I hear they're MOA rifle customers now, so that'll give you a run for your money. So that definitely means they get to shoot more than I do, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you they know, were putting like the trigger this, Thanks to Bob's school, now I can do that. <laughs> yeah. It's better when they come to school and then I send them out and I don't <coughs> see them again because if they come to school and then they outshoot me on this TV show, uh, everybody's gonna know and I'm gonna hear about it forever. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. so I guess we're following you then, huh? All right, yep, we'll just go out here and uh, get in our new field and figure it out. All right. All right. All good. of his alfalfa and kind of eating on this uh, crop so uh, there should be some shooting down along the edge of the field there too. I, I don't know if we got any down further onto the rim but that ought to go 1200 or plus yeah. so. Jeez. She likes shooting. She likes it a lot. <laughs> Infamous 22 Creedmoor. Actually got it cleaned up and ready for another shoot. This thing killed a lot of sage rats. That's the way to do it. Man, alive. You just need to go home, dude. I just quit. <laughs> wow. Nice shot. Wow, that's Woo. crazy. <laughs> that it's is all crazy. the equipment. Yeah, well, that, that is ain't all crazy. the equipment, but you have the right stuff. 
Oh. What'd you do, like three minutes left on the wind? Three minutes. That's what I dialed in. He was up to two. That. Yeah. Honestly, I've been doing this a long time, and that's the most impressive first round hit <laughs> shot I've ever seen. That, that, that was, was really amazing. Good. Good I mean, really job. good. Oh wow, that's hard to that's, that's hard to get. But that's awesome. I don't know what the heck you're gonna do now, Bob. It's like it, the, I got nothing. The, the heat for is that. on, dude. I got nothing for that. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. Introducing the Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear Extreme Rear Support System, weighing in at only four ounces with push button deployment into four locked positions and maneuverability to support your rifle during any shooting opportunity. There's no need to use a sandbag underneath the rear of your rifle ever again. Visit RuggedRidgeOutdoorGear.com for more information. Water ready. Oh, just over. Hey, he's had enough of that. He's going back for the rim. Yeah, going up the hill. <laughs> going hard. Oh, um, you were right at the bottom right of him. Yep, send it. Good. Yeah, got him. Pegged him. Pegged him. Nice shot. Oh, wait a minute. Two for <laughs> you, huh? Nice uh, shot. Oh, oh there yeah, he, he tipped over. <laughs> he tipped over. Take the upper right one, the one up Got the it. upper one. Oh, double. Yes! Yeah. Take that left hand one, I Bob. Good one. shot. 1022. Good shot. Well, all right. Yeah. The first thousand That's yard confirmed 22 about. Creed kill. <laughs> That was a Creed bar? That was 22 Creed. Man, nice. pounded him. <laughs> That's what pounded I was him. With. Yeah. So it took a little messing around. I had to do a recite. And then um, I just kept moving at 10 feet a second. Every time you tell me, I was just moving at 10 feet a second. So that came in at 3445. Yeah, we were thinking. But I, so when my sighting was wrong, so this gun was off a half minute at 200 yards when I went ahead and hit that box. So I brought that up and then I went back to 34 or flat to start. And then we still found it back up to 3445. That's pretty cool. Him in 22 it, cream more. pretty decisive. 20 with a yeah. 75 grain bullet. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah! I'm so glad you did that with the 28 too. <laughs> 
Oh, dang, that was easy. You've been One bagging again. on that 28, and it's the only thing you got that'll hit a chuck. <laughs> Uh, proves the 28's the most versatile thing in the world. <laughs> Chucks, deer, elk, it doesn't matter. I told them we need to get a couple of these in the 28's. <laughs> This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. For all your brass, bullet, and ammunition needs, head to ExtremeStore.us. Introducing the Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod with push button side deployment legs, 360 degrees of rotation, and an indexing lever lock handle. The Rugged Ridge Extreme Pod is the most efficient and versatile long range shooting platform ever created. Visit RuggedRidgeOutdoorGear.com for more information. Well, we're getting back for lunch and uh, pulling my rifles back out, and it kind of dawned on me that we could talk about. Uh, how we've evolved our evolution rifle. Um, what I've got is I've got a couple different generations here. We'll start with uh, the oldest. And uh, this is essentially our original Evo rifle. Uh, it's made in a BDL Sporter stock, number four non-flute. Uh, this happens to be a short action 6.5 Creedmoor uh, with a, just a standard NXS 2.5 to 10. But uh, what the idea was with this rifle is that we could uh, try, to, try to build a you know, top level premium custom made uh, rifle that would hold bench rest accuracy tolerances uh, at a price point that, that a lot of people uh, would enjoy. When we got going down this path, um, it worked out really, really well for some conventional cartridges. So we went ahead and got a, got a little bit of demand going for the rifle and then people wanted to see a long range hunter version or, or bench rest type version of that rifle. So we built off of this original platform and uh, the following year, we went ahead and, and introduced uh, the Evolution Long Range Hunter. Now you'll see a big difference in the stock. This one's got the A3 and um, it's got a carbon barrel, which most all of our rifles nowadays you can get with a steel or a carbon barrel. Uh, it's got a little different side port muzzle brake on it, different contour, this and that. It's got a larger scope, but still the Evolution Action, uh, Trigger Tech, Trigger Group in it and still a McMillan stock. Now you'll notice these are fiberglass and so because they're shooting guns, we kind of do the wild, crazy colors, you know, something like that that's maybe not a big game hunting color scheme, but definitely a cool to look at, you know, shooter type rifle setup. Um, where I'm kind of going here is I'm gonna end up with our final uh, new and current version. Um, you'll notice in this one, this one's got a, a vertical grip and it's kind of an ambidextrous. So, whether you operate the bolt right or left hand, it's not gonna matter, there's no cast or palm swell. It's just a straight ambi stock, and it's got a vertical grip that a lot of people are enjoying, even if they're offhand or they're laying prone. So what we're able to do as we're evolving this line of rifles is we took some of the best attributes of this one and then the best of the Sporter, and what we've come up with is our brand new version. Now again, this, just because it's the hot topic right now, is in a 22 Creed, but it wouldn't matter what cartridge uh, it was in, we've tried to take a blend of both of these. And uh, what we've got is we still are using our standard evolution. We're still using a trigger tech uh, trigger group. This one happens to have a detachable box, which you can go with a swing uh, style bottom plate or a detachable box, it doesn't really matter. This receiver will take uh, either in short or long action. Uh, but what you'll notice is, whereas this one here has uh, quite a bit blockier forend, but it has that vertical grip, what we've done is we've taken and went with the McMillan Game Scout, which gives you that sporter style forend, still gives you the very popular vertical grip uh, that is still an ambidextrous um, with no cast. And, and it gives you really good cheek comb, as you can tell from how close the cocking piece in it is to the, to the comb itself for clearing the bolt. Um, so we've kind of went from from one year to the next year to trying to take the best of all of this and consolidate into one model of rifle. So this is our new and most current evolution rifle. And uh, I would say it's, it's definitely a winner in our eyes because we've got a stock combination that favors to pretty much anyone. Uh, we've got the action group that can take swing bottom metal or detachable box style bottom metal. 
and then it comes to a sporter fore end and then of course we've got our rugged ridge rail and pod on there but with a setup like this um, you know a set of ultralights and a good quality scope there's pretty much nothing this rifle can't do so again this is our new and most current evolution rifle again you know not the most inexpensive rifle out there but for somebody looking in the premium rifle market this thing pretty much has it all and does it all this segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next rebarrel or custom rifle build. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, the perfect match of long-range ballistics and environment. Get precision aiming solutions for your gun, your load, and your shot. There you yeah. go. A double flip. Nice yeah. shot. I would say you got him. <laughs> nice shot. That thing took no mercy. At I know. That thing has no mercy at any distance. I've never seen one do a 720. <laughs> This is kind of a wrap. We're not going to show too many of these guys because as you've seen from the film, some of them did some aerial acts, some of them come apart, but we've kind of got one that's a good specimen. Um, as you can see, they're kind of like, I don't know, this is a, was this average or good size? What do you think? Pretty good size for our okay. country. Yeah. So when we were taking those 1300 plus yard shots, you know, that's only, geez, I don't know, what is that? Five inches wide, four inches wide maybe a foot tall of actual real target area so yeah four and and four inches when they're horizontal so what's yeah. that oh yeah when they're laying down i mean look there's hardly nothing talking there. a quarter of a minute angle almost so. well another good year here in no off season got ken and dana and just having a blast um these rock chucks are like i said they're a little different shoot right it's not a super high volume even though this last set we kind of made it feel like that but then we started feeling guilty like we probably better lay off of them it's something you got to manage and it's definitely more of that precision rifle shooting feel right it's not just the bang 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 it's more of the dialing and wind and doping and that methodical game uh something where you're going to bring any kind of center fire from well like 22 cal which we use a 22 creed up to as big as a 338 even on this trip so good time good fun and uh helping the farmers and the ranchers out so 
That's all the time we've got for this episode. If you guys want to either a high volume shoot or one of these rock chuck shoots, this is the man you got to get a hold of. So Tim, how do we get a hold of you? Our uh, website is uh, no-off-season.com and right. uh, you can get on there and shoot an inquiry in and uh, we'll get back to you. Yeah, and even uh, to build on that a little bit, on the Sage Rat shoots, we even put some group shoots together too. So um, you got the high decks and you got a couple of them from what I understand. So you can accommodate quite a few people. So don't, don't hesitate to get a hold of uh, Tim if you guys want to come out. Well, guys, thanks. Thank you. It was a good time. It See was you. great. That was Can. a good 6.5. <laughs> All good. right. We'll see you guys next week. Stream Outer Limits is also brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Benchmark Barrels, Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, Lapua Brass, Passion for Precision, and Vitavuri Powder, the power of accuracy.